Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid Apricot 3.0 save file. We are starting directly within the game and not at the start menu. And the reason for that is that the whole game had to convert into the new build 27 and I didn't feel like having to edit together all the opening and then cutting in the middle letting it convert coming back it took a good probably like two or three minutes to do the full conversion um, but we are officially within build 27 and build 27 has a lot of cool neat features that I'm excited to be toying around with to the point where we might see some daily zomboid for a while um, first and foremost it actually has representation of items within a shelf and other things now it's not one-to-one -one. it's not like hey for every little thing there is you can see it but what it does have is like three different states. It has a full cupboard state, essentially, where if this was full to the brim, it would show a ton of stuff. Um, it has a half full state, which is this, where if most of the items are missing, but not all of them, it'll look like there's only scattered items. And then it'll have the empty state that we all know and love. There's also other fun things that we should be kind of coming coming and stumbling across as we play more and more, which we'll talk about when it happens. For now, though... We need to go to bed. I did do a quick skimming of what we did last episode, uh, though for most of it, it has um, kind of escaped me. Essentially, all I remember is that we were sleeping on this couch because if we slept in the bedroom, there was a higher chance of getting attacked. Even though it was probably an incrementally higher chance, it was still a higher chance. And you know how I like to play this game. I like to play very safe. I like to make sure that I'm not going to get killed in the middle of my sleep, as I'd prefer to stay alive for as long as I can. I'm actually very excited for Build 25. Man, it has some nice features, a nice bug fixes, some balancing, just generally some really cool additions to the gameplay that I am uh, excited to be experimenting with all the while. Now, <clears throat> we are hurting for food. We're quite hungry. We're not starving, but we are definitely hungry. So what I'm going to do actually is head back. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to head back to my other zone. Can I? Yes. So the other feature they put in here, by the way, that a lot of people were kind of clamoring for back in uh, for a while now. I was going to say back in the day, but it's been going on for a while, is the ability to move corpses. Hooray! We can actually do it now. It's actually very exciting. Um, we can actually move and uh, get corpses out of the way. We can actually do some cleaning and stuff, which I will demonstrate right here. So what we have to do is just right click and hit grab corpse. She'll grab it. And what will happen is you can no longer hold it. It's actually in your inventory, um, but you have a corpse. And you're going to go ahead and unequip, and then it'll drop it. So uh, that's how that works. So we can go ahead and move things now, uh, which is awesome. I'm very excited about that. So we can, okay, relax. That actually sounds like a new sound. Maybe it's just been a while since I've played, um, but that sounded kind of like a new sound. So uh, let's keep moving. Um, let's go ahead and equip this as a secondary. And I think I'm going the right way. I'm not entirely sure. Could be wrong. But seeing dead bodies is always promising. It means I've been in that general area before. Um, but we'll see. I guess the further we go, the more we'll realize where exactly we are on the map. This looks familiar. Definitely been here. Definitely not the right way, though. I don't... I'm almost... Have I, have I been here? Hang on. Where am I? Holy shit. Where am I? I have no idea where I am, actually. Hang on. Let's uh, see if we can get into this building. Maybe there'll be food in there. I mean, my biggest concern is food right now, which is why I wanted to go back in the first place. Um, I probably should have watched my last episode a little bit closer just to see what is going on. Is this Twiggy's bar? I don't know if it's Twiggy's bar, actually. I don't know. But let's go ahead and pop inside. Oh, hey there. You see me, which isn't a huge deal. As long as I can kill you off before we get attacked. All right, we're going to go ahead and close this window. Uh, a couple dead Zeds is no big deal. Uh, bar is empty, and there's a couple of fridges back here, so possibly some food. Nothing here. Nothing here. Whoop. Anything in the trash, maybe? No. There's a crate back here, though, with nothing in it, of course. A couple bathrooms, it looks like, presumably. I think this is Twiggy's bar. I'm almost positive that's what this is. Definitely nervous clearing this out, but is she dead? I can't loot her. Okay, there, there's there's definitely some zombies up here. Gonna have to be very careful not to get myself fucking killed. I just want food. That's all I want. And if there's nothing... If it's all just cots and stuff, I'm just getting out of here. I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, hey there, buddy. I am just not going to bother risking it. Be stupid of me. I could get myself killed so easily. All right. 
Let's start heading back. I gotta get back. I've gotta get food in my system. I just gotta find my way back. That's gonna be the problem. We should have the time to do it. Uh, at the same time, we might be hitting tick number two of sprinting. So hopefully we'll be able to travel just a tad bit faster once that does level up. I'm gonna make sure I push him to sprint as much as I can. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, but I'm excited to see what exactly we're gonna be able to pull out here. Down you go, boy. No big deal. Say look at that. Nice easy kill. Perfect. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. This is going up on Thursday. So we will have, uh, we will be, I will be playing Dungeons and Dragons by the time you're watching this. Uh, which is always fun for me, as you all know. Uh, I think the last couple Friday wraps that I've done, I've actually totally forgotten to do a D&D recap. So I've got to make sure to do that this Friday. Um, I've been too busy talking about just certain topics that I've been wanting to discuss for a while. And, um, utterly trapping. Nice. Trapping's in this build, huh? Damn. Oh, we have chips right in our inventory. Let's eat this right now. Still need to get back, though. Did we eat them? Wait, did they, maybe they rebalanced chips a bit. Wouldn't surprise me. Chips are always a little overpowered. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I see where we are now. Anyway, yeah, I've meant to be doing some recapping of D&D because it's been, a, it's been a pretty interesting few sessions. Let's just put it that way. Things are a mess. And not in a bad way. It's not like, oh, hey, everything's a disaster. Um, but... One of the great things about D&D that I love to talk to my DM about quite often is the uh, idea that he has lots of things planned. Um, he has, you know, he, he basically presents a scenario and assumes that we're going to do A, B, C, or D. And 90% of the time, especially with my character and the way he is right now, um, what happens is plan, uh, we actually pick option Q, which he was not at all prepared for. And in doing that, we throw him off and he, you know, a lot of things that he has ready are uh, are not going to be coming to fruition or it throws everything and changes everything off um, to the point where he just does like we're in such a spot he never expect us to be it's making him have to like take like a five minute break during the session and be like all right I gotta think about this guys uh, let me walk away for a little bit well we all kind of get our our heads together and think about what we're gonna do next and it's funny to see certain certain party members my friends of mine get really frustrated because I have one friend he is my best friend, and I love him dearly, and he is awesome. But he has a very he has a tendency to want things to work out in a very particular manner. To the point where he almost stops having fun playing D&D if things don't go the way he wants them to. And I take great joy in the idea of playing the game and not having things planned out in my head. And playing D&D with the idea that... Um, things will go the way they go, and I will play my character the truest sense of my character. And if I think a certain decision is what my character would do, regardless of how I think it'll make the story go, I am going to do that decision, because the, the, the fun part about D&D is being able to kind of bring these characters to life. You have this personality set in your mind, and over time, they, they you know, there's a lot of character development, depending on what happens in the game, this, that, and the other. And if, if a decision comes up that could totally derail the plot, but would be a decision I think my character would make, I would make that decision. Because it's true to my character and it's just the way I, the way I play. I, I prefer playing that style. Um, and one of, the, one of the funniest things is to watch my friend who is kind of the opposite. He, he always has characters designed in such a way that they will always make the most, take the most logical course of action or take the most planned course of action. And he doesn't enjoy chaos as much. Um, he likes things to work out. He wants things. He always has, for his character, let's put it this way. He, he always has a beginning, a murky middle, and an end to the way he wants to see his character's story unfold. Where I kind of create a character background and how he would be introduced to the plot. And then I just let go of the reins and hand them over to my DM and say, do what you want with my character. I will just... You know, you could come up with a story for him. Don't tell me about it. I want it all to be a surprise. But I want to, uh, I will be making the decisions for him as we go along. That way, you know, you can't really, I, I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't know what this, his story is going to be. It's all emergent for me. And that's the way I love to play. And uh, I've had such a good time with it so far. And the character situation we have and the party we have is so bonkers. Uh, it is so unbelievably out of control right now. 
um, that we are where the party separated into two parties of two right now, basically stretched across the country. And um, we are all well, most of us are outlaws. We've rectified some of that. And uh, we don't know who to trust. We don't even know if we can trust one another. And it's 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 amazing. Um, at a game, we know we can trust one another in game. Our characters don't know if they can trust one another. It's it's pretty awesome. I'm having a really, really, really good time with it. And I'm looking forward to playing tomorrow because we ended the last session in a pretty bonkers way. And um, we desperately need to uh, get things going. We have a very interesting opening to next session. So um, I'm just basically right now, I apologize. I'm just kind of looking through my stuff and seeing what I've got going on right now. And I, I just saw I, I have orange soda. I should probably drink that at some point tomorrow. And then fill it, if I can, with uh, with water. Um, it's getting late. There's no point in looting. So we're going to go... Oh, holy shit. Holy, that's way faster than it used to be. What the hell? That went flying. Okay. Damn, Indy Stone. Throw me off. My character's sleep schedule just got completely fuckered. That's all fucked up now. Hopefully we'll still be able to bring it back. Holy crap. Does it fly? It doesn't fly when he's sleeping. Why does it fly when I hit that fast forward button? All right, guns, relax. I'm gonna go all bang, bang, jiggy, jiggy, bang, bang on me. Damn, man. I wasn't prepped for that. Ah, uh, feels good to be playing Zomboid again. I still don't know what to do, though, like where we are right now. I need to find nails, but we're playing on such bare Baron's loot that we don't really have a lot of places that we can go in and grab nails. I mean, we have been stretched thin pretty pretty hardcore at this point. To the point where I think going to the warehouse that might be surrounded by zombies is gonna be our best course of action. Um Ugh, it's raining. That sucks. We'll go ahead and swing back in here and uh wait for the rain to finish. Look at that! Oh, fast, it's fucking fast, man! Are you kidding me? Holy crap! What what you guys do? Diddling around with that. Like this doesn't even feel like it's all that fast. There we go, that's better. Man, I have to keep an eye on that shit now. Fucking indie stone dicking with my my shenanigans. We only have four chips left? We're gonna have to drink this soda. We'll drink half of it for now. That'll be enough. Let's get our character in bed at the proper time. Like, why doesn't it just go as fast as it's supposed to? Fucker. God diggly diggly dang. Whatever, man. I don't even want to question it anymore. As long as it's not raining in the morning, it's all I care. We'll move on. Gonna hit the main road as quickly as we can and follow it to the north, I believe, is the best course of action. We wanna wait till 7. My character's super duper bored. Not really concerned about it though. Dude can suck it. He'll be fine. He's alive and that's all he should be grateful for. That I have given him life once again. And he should accept the fact that I've given him life. I don't know, you know, sometimes. He shouldn't be bored, man. It's the zombie apocalypse. The last thing I would be is bored. I'd be shitting my brains every single day. I would sh be shitting my brains out. So, you know, if I ever want to make this neighborhood clean, I could just go on a cleaning spree and remove as many of the corpses as possible. Not gonna happen, of course, but it's always an option. Now, I think this will eventually lead to the main road. I think. Wow, we're only five ticks away, man. Only five ticks away. Let's see if we can clean up some of these Zeds out here. I feel like I cleaned this, I cleared this area out like not too long ago, but apparently not. Go ahead and uh, just clear this shit out again, I guess. These zombies, man. My game has zombies that just like to wander to the northeast at all times. It's like they know I live in the northeast of America. America. Alright, if I hit this road and then I follow it left, I should be good. I don't want to fight if I don't have to. I don't want to burn my bat. I love one-shot kills. It's wonderful. Just force the run, baby. Force the run. And this is terrifying. Um... That's actually very terrifying. Alright, let's see what we can do here. We might try and do a little bit of clearing here. We do have bullets in our inventory. 
So we could definitely do some fighting. Okay, well. He won't be bored in a minute. We'll be shooting zombies for fun. Alright, let's take a look. We have our gun. We have 40 bullets plus a box. Let's take the 40 bullets out. Really? That slow? Like, you're doing it that slowly? Ugh. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit, a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this could be very risky. Oh shit, he didn't even fucking swing, why? Why did you not swing, good sir? Come on. Alright, let's try that again. Seven more bullets. Six, seven, there you go. Equip. Go ahead and reload. Alright, let's see what we could do. We have, what, four sets? No, we have a little bit less than that. Okay, that'll definitely get their fucking attention. Alright, um... Doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and reload. Nervous, but we should be okay. Keeping an eye out behind us. Gaining some mad skill points, yo. Let's go ahead and back up a bit. How many bullets have we got? Ten more after this? I mean, this ten is the only all we got left. It's fine. Oh, shit! That was lucky. That was really lucky. Alright, that's all we got now. We can take this box of bullets out. And then we'll, uh... Open them. And then we'll reload. Holy crap, we almost got bit there because I wasn't paying attention. The hope is that we'll be able to just run around whatever's left. Or we could even melee whatever's left. Alright, let's go ahead and run. Alright, let's uh let's try and loop around here a little bit. I feel like we're backing up and drawing more zombies from behind us. At this point we should have. Uh, pretty much all the zombies from this area. It's actually thinned out quite nicely. Oh, we definitely drew some more. We have no more bullets. So let's go ahead and equip this as our primary. At the very least, we did clear this road a bit. So we should be able to just kind of work around it. Coming through here directly is not something we could do before. It's something we can do now. And there is still quite a bit of zombies around here. Hmm. We're definitely in a rough spot. We are definitely in a rough spot. Let's see what we could do as far as clearing goes. If we can actually melee a few of them out. No, we're not going to be able to. Damn, man. Not good. Not good at all. Let's actually head back. All right. We're going to we're going to re we're going to regroup over here and see what we can do. Now, there could be a couple crawlers mixed in here, so I'm going to try and bob and weave my way through them very tightly. We're going to back way up. Way, way, way up. And uh, we'll probably wrap this episode up here and get to clearing them next episode or getting around them or something. We've got a hell of a challenge ahead of us, but it's been a while since we've had a challenge. I'll, I'll say that much. And I am going to send tentatively say we'll be back tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do by now. Come back tomorrow for some more daily Project Zomboid, or at least for now. And consider hitting that like button as it helps me out a great deal. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.